Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is the Weekly Report, a look at news about programs and services provided by the departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. We start with a special note. This is the 200th episode of the Weekly Report, a program we started in June of 2010. The National Weather Service named Kansas City, Missouri a storm-ready community. This designation is given to communities that the National Weather Service finds well prepared for severe weather. In addition, the Storm Ready program provides the city's Office of Emergency Management with clear-cut guidelines on how we can continue to improve our hazardous weather operations. For more information about the Storm Ready Community Program, please visit stormready.noaa.gov. The city will host KC Trash Bash on Tuesday, April 22nd in honor of Earth Day. From 9 a.m. to noon, several city employees will volunteer to pick up litter in the Blue Valley and Elmwood neighborhoods. Residents are invited to participate with us as well. Just check in at 1801 White Avenue for the Blue Valley cleanup or for the Elmwood cleanup, check in on the north side of the Parks and Recreation Administration building, which is at 4600 East 63rd Street. The city encourages neighborhoods to organize their own Earth Day litter cleanups as well. Don't forget to take photos and share them with us on Twitter at KCMO or on the city's Facebook page at facebook.com slash KCMOGov. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities here to tell you about some upcoming events taking place at your Kansas City facilities. On Sunday, May 4th, check out the world's largest costume dog event at the annual Chihuahua Parade at Barney Ellis Plaza. All kinds of dressed up dogs are welcome at this new time procession that hopes to break the Guinness Book of World Records for most dogs in costume. A $5 entry fee per dog goes to no-kill shelters in the Kansas City area. Each costume dog in the parade will receive a $12 dog toy. For more information, visit kcdogparade.com. Come to the Spectrum Fantastic Art Live 3 from May 9th through 11th in the Grand Ballroom at the Convention Center. This three-day event promotes the fantasy genre within the visual arts and provides an annual showcase for contemporary artists. Fans of science fiction and fantasy can view original artwork, listen to panel discussions, and shop at a three-day celebration. From Friday night's opening party through Sunday afternoon, visitors can mingle with hundreds of talented artists at this unique event. Register and buy tickets at SpectrumFantasticArt.com. To learn about more events taking place at Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, visit KCConvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. Good morning again. My name is Mark McHenry with the Kansas City, Missouri Department of Parks and Recreation. I'd like to welcome you all here to the Eagle Scout Fountain and our Fountain Day for 2014. So welcome everybody. Audience attention, color guard advance, salute, please repeat with me the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two, color guard post the colors. Guard dismissed. This particular fountain um, was uh, first designed as part of the Penn Station in New York City by a gentleman by the name of Charles McKim. It stood over the seventh, and this particular monument behind us stood over the Seventh Street entrance to that Penn Station in New York City. It was first built in 1910, and then in 1963, the fountain monument was brought here when they demolished the. Penn Station at that location. There is two women uh, bordering the centerpiece. Uh, one represents day, the other one represents night. Uh, and how it happened was that a gentleman uh, here in Kansas City, a businessman, 
by the name of John Starr had a relationship with the folks at the Penn Station in New York City asked that this monument be brought to Kansas City. Uh, going back to scouting, there's many things that they taught us uh, throughout the years, but uh, two things that I wanted to bring up. Um, one is be prepared. Uh, no matter what you're doing in life, it's a good thing to always uh, know where you're going, what you're doing, always take some time to think about those things and be prepared. And then the last thing is that um, uh, they always say do a good turn daily. My dad still calls me up every once in a while and says that he's done his good turn. So uh, think about that. When you get up, think about doing something nice for somebody uh, without thinking about anything in return. Even if a stranger, a friend, anybody, think about doing something uh, that's uh, uh, good and helpful to them and don't think about getting anything back for yourself. So uh, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. And uh, enjoy all your fountains and parks and trails and everything this, uh, this summertime. I get to do a lot of traveling um, and sit on national commissions and people in other cities are always talking about how they're trying to green up their city and, and turn uh, property into parkland and um, I get to say we've done it. We've done it from the beginning. We have a model. We'll show you how to do it. We'll show you how to continue to do it and um, people are completely amazed about the park system in Kansas City. But it's 12,000 acres of parkland, 222 parks, 135 miles of boulevards, parkways, 48 fountains, 87 sculptures and monuments, 27 lakes, 100 plus miles of trails and bike, bikeways, 144 ball diamonds, 105 tennis courts, 10 community centers, five golf courses, four museums, is all what makes summer in Kansas City so much fun. In order for a young man to earn his Eagle Scout rank, he has to develop a business plan, implement it, and give leadership to others in accomplishment of that. The average age of an Eagle Scout in the Heart of America Council is 16.2 years old. So imagine if you could make a business plan at 16 years old, lead other youth, and accomplish something of significance. Last year, the 935 young men who earned their Eagle Scout rank in Kansas City performed they and the ones that work with them, 140,000 hours of community service uh, doing projects for other nonprofits in Kansas City. We know that in Kansas City we have twice the national average of Eagle Scouts, and that's because they're a great camping program, great leaders, and a great tradition. Kansas City is the city of fountains. We're known worldwide for fountains. As a community, we cherish our fountains. They give us cause to celebrate and to honor. They put an exclamation point on our boulevard system, and they give us rare moments of beauty in the parks. Our fountains are memorable. They define our community, one that embraces beauty, inspiration, and delight. They represent our highest ideals, as we see here before us, and they are works of art in their own right. They give us moments of extreme delight, as well as quiet places places to contemplate and reflect. Uh, we're going to close out our ceremony. Of course, part of that is turn on the fountain. And I need some help from some of our students from Notre Dame Vision. And I believe we have uh, five, four, four, three, two, one. To make Kansas City a safer and more livable community, the city requires individuals who own vacant property to register that property each year with the city's Neighborhoods and Housing Services Department. Registration is due by May 31st and can be completed for free online. Go to kcmo.gov and enter vacant in the search bar. Or call 816-513-9010. If a code violation or a crime takes place at a vacant property, having that property registered helps the city resolve the issue faster. The city's Rebuild KC Neighborhood Mini Grant Program is awarding grants of up to $3,500 to registered neighborhoods whose projects foster partnerships and build upon existing assets. 
Successful grant applicants will be required to provide a matching contribution of volunteer labor, donated materials, and in-kind services. For more information or to apply, visit kcmo.gov and search for Rebuild. Kansas City will participate in the Show Me Green sales tax holiday from April 19th through 25th. During this week, state and city sales taxes will be eliminated when you buy Energy Star qualified appliances at stores in Kansas City, Missouri. In addition, county tax will be eliminated from appliances purchased in the Clay, Platte, and Cass County areas of Kansas City. This tax holiday applies to appliances valued at $1,500 or less and includes washers, dryers, refrigerators, and dishwashers, among others. For more information about any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report, again, our 200th episode. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.